Hello, Jesse Good here, and we're going to take a trip down memory lane because an old series is coming back and it's catalog lookbacks. So this is a Lego catalog from Fall 2009, shop at home. You can see the Tanti 4 is in the front. Let's get into this sucker. So this was from 2009, and this was, I think, an anniversary uh, promo. It's actually a shop at home exclusive. So you had the nice, uh, what was it, the 10 years of Lego Star Wars little logo in the corner. I remember they used to have uh, that logo on a few sets, and... My favorite part of it is that it showed the yellow minifigures from like two, 1999, which I thought was really clever. It was like the original logo from 99, even though they still had licensed flesh minifigures. I just always thought that was interesting. Now, I'm sure we went over a lot of these in previous videos, but you know, it's just kind of nice to take a second look at some of them. Uh, we got the pirate tank, which I always see on eBay for such a cheap price. Like, usually this is around like 20 to $30. This and the Swamp Speeder, I think, are cheap. Or maybe I'm getting that mixed up. But since I actually started watching Rebels Season 3, um, I knew a lot about what happened in Season 1 and 2. I recognize Hondo, uh, so I'll, I'll be watching more of Rebels Season 3. I'm a little bit behind. I think we're, what, three episodes in? I only saw the first episode, but I'll watch the second and third. Or the first two episodes that aired at the same time. Mid-scale Millennium Falcon. These are cool because this mid-scale line really only lasted for a little bit. They had this, and then they had an Imperial Star Destroyer the following year in 2010. Of course, Home One, a Mon Calamari Star Cruiser. Um, my cousin actually has a set and I always wanted it. It was a Toys R Us fan of vote exclusive. It comes with a little A-Wing. It comes with, of course, a little part with Mon Mothma and everybody. Um, we still need more Lando Calrissian. I heard a rumor that we're getting another one next year. Corporate Alliance Tank Droid. Eh, meh, meh, meh. You guys know I'm not really a fan of the Clone Wars stuff. Um, I always like this set, though, because I like these two minifigures, and the actual design of it doesn't look too bad. Um, don't really care about the Y-Wing. Actually, yeah, as a vehicle, it's definitely one of my least favorite original trilogy vehicles, even though I'm hyped that we're supposedly getting a new one. I don't know. Um, also, the Venator class Republic Attack Cruiser. This one's one of the better-looking ones, I guess, from the Clone Wars. Uh, Palpatine looks so weird in Clone Wars style. And we got some magnets. See, these are the 10th uh, the anniversary sets. Uh, so they have Darth Vader's tie, and the Death Star, or no, that's from 2008. <laughs> uh, but this one was cool because it, or all these were cool because you got a chance of actually including uh, Chrome Darth Vader minifigure. They randomly selected one of these 10th anniversary sets, or maybe it was all the 2009 sets, I don't remember. But it was just really cool because those sell on eBay for like $300 now. Um, you got the Battle of Endor, which is a cool set that was, I think, our last ATST. And uh, also you got Echo Base right there, uh, which is, of course, a, a better version, honestly, of a small set than the one that they released this year because it comes with a Tauntaun. The one this year does not go with a Tauntaun. Uh, more Clone Wars stuff. Eh, I just remember this set because this was the first set with the Widow's Peak here, which was overused for a very long time. And then finally, this year, they started phasing it out for the one that they used for Peter Venkman and the Ghostbusters HQ and the Doctor and everything. Um, and also, this was an interesting set because it's direct-to-consumer Clone Wars set, um, which, you know, I wasn't really expecting since Clone Wars is a children's TV show. Um, I don't know. It seems like LEGO has something against putting sets uh, that are direct-to-consumer for children's TV shows. Like, I was hoping we'd get, like, a TMNT DC set. We never did. Anyways, uh, we got some Space Police stuff, and you can see these are actually the fall exclusives. Uh, so you got the Max Security Transport, which I do have. I have reviewed uh, Squidman's Pit Stop, which I do have, but it's kind of broken. So one day I have faith I will review it, but uh, now is not the time. It's a very good set, though. I do like this one. It's probably my favorite Space Police set, honestly. Um, Gold Heist, another set I do have, but it's kind of broken. That one I'll review probably sooner than that because that one's easier to fix. I love Frenzy. Frenzy was almost my Sig Fig. Almost. So close to being my Sig Fig. Um, and uh, Galactic Enforcer, which my friend has. Uh, I might get it from him, but eh, it's an okay set. Freeze Ray Frenzy, I'm sure in another catalog video I explained my situation with that. That was actually the first, one of the first summer sets I got from 20, what is this, 2009. Um, that was with the Drawbridge Defense and Robo Attack. That was one of like the greatest afternoons of my life. It was so coming, it was so cool coming home and my mom bought me all of those from Toys R Us to surprise me. Squidman's Pit Stop, someday I, I'm sure I'll get that from eBay, but I never got that. Um, it's just a cool little set, but I already have Squidman from the uh, pit Stop. I mean, not Squidman's Pit Stop. Squidman's Escape. Good set. Uh, Space Truck Getaway. I do have that. Gotta build it. Uh, we'll review it soon. 
Uh, Hyperspeed Pursuit, don't have that, don't have much interest in that. I just, the only cool part was the Skulltruns, but they also came in Squidman's Pit Stop, or one of them did, so it's like, okay. Um, I reviewed that before, very small set, and Canine Bot, maybe I'll get that off of eBay one day. I like getting smaller, older sets, you guys know. Uh, the camper is, uh, oh yeah, this was actually, uh, I have memories with this one. This one I got with this set. Um, I was staying at my cousin's house for the summer, and we went to Toys R Us and I brought this and this. And it was one of the first sets I saved up my money to get. I love this set. This is still my favorite camper to this day. I think it's the strongest one. The color looks great. There's like a hidden like sleeping part in the top. I don't know. The newer ones look a lot more sleek, but I, I think this one just looks much better. It needs that bulk. Uh, the barbecue stand, that's a great impulse set. I really like that one. We don't get much chef stuff anymore, which kind of makes me sad. Sports car, that one I got for Bricktober 2009. Um, just kind of got it on impulse to get like the Duplo brick. Garage, wish I would have got that set because they never released a garage like sort of like this since. It's a really cool play building set. Um, helicopter transporter, never cared about that set. I think, uh, I think it was an exclusive to Toys R Us. I might be wrong though. Uh, the tow truck, eh. It's an okay tow truck, I guess. I know this one was exclusive to Target, I think. Uh, wind turbine transport. Very cool set uh, for the turbine, but I just didn't care about this, so that's what made me not get it because it was 60 bucks, which was a lot of money. I always wanted the Vesta windmill set. That's like one of my most wanted sets of all time. Uh, Combine Harvester. This was what? Oh, yeah, these are all Toys R Us exclusives, all the farm stuff from that year, which uh, this is a cool set. I wish I would have done farm again. Like, we get a lot of the city stuff over and over again. I want them to give another chance to farm. And this farm itself was actually pretty cool. Um, back in the day, it was just a little bit too simple, so I kind of skipped on it. But I, I sort of wish I didn't because it's I really like how it came out, and we haven't seen much anything like it. I still don't think I have a cow uh, piece yet. Also, the track door, which is just a small set. Like, if these came out in this day and age, I would be getting all of them because I just have a lot more money than I did back then. Uh, Rock Wrecker, we're on to Power Miners. You guys know I'm a sucker for Power Miners. Uh, I have that set, reviewed it. Have that set, uh, still haven't built it. That's going to be a pain in the butt to build because that's bigger than my display, so I got to do tricks to make it look like a good review. Um, Underground Mining Station, still been trying to get this sealed. It is incredibly hard to get. Any power miner sets that I don't have sealed. I got all the easy ones to get, and some harder ones, like, uh, I guess Crystal King's kind of hard to get sealed. I got that one sealed, but that was back in the day, which I have reviewed that set. Um, Indiana Jones, oh man, summer 2009. These are cool. Uh, I wish I would have paid more attention to this theme, though, when it was out, because now, not only are these worth a lot, they're very hard to get, and, you know, I'm getting... A lot of old sets that I wanted back in the day off of eBay and stuff like that. But Fighter Plane Attack, uh, honestly, nowadays I would like this set. But back then, I, I understand why I didn't like this set. It's a very dull set. But uh, that was because I was younger then. So now I like more complex builds like this. So this is definitely a set that's more appealing towards adults. Ambush and Cairo, I have that set. I should probably build it up and review it uh, because that is a cool set. I really like how that came out. Uh, Venice Canal Chase, wanted this set back in the day, but I just never got it. Um, I wish I would have got it because it's 40 bucks. I like the boats, I like the little bridge, and I used to love the, the little hats they wear, but those are actually common pieces now because back then they were very rare pieces, and I was like, those look so funny on them. I think they're Fez hats or whatever. Uh, Temple of Doom, oh man, I want this set so badly. I wish I would have got it. Somebody I know has it. I forgot, was it my cousin? I might be wrong, I don't, I don't remember, but this is an incredible set. I love the little uh, cart. What is it called? Minecart Chase. It's just so awesome. And uh, that was only 90 bucks, which nowadays that would be like 120 And the Cemetery Battle, another set. I, I put this on my Christmas list. Never got it. Great $20 set. There's a lot of minifigures in there. Um, and it's a cool little $20 play set, which you don't see too much. There's lots of little play features and everything. I wish I would have got that. Um, oh, man. Agents 2.0. I love Agents 2.0. The Summer Wave of Agents, um, basically, because Agents was introduced in 2008, and then they made a second wave in 2009. Robo Attack, I was talking about that earlier, got this when I came back home from school, requested it from my mom, and she got that, and it was just so cool, because it's just an incredible set. Um, did it make my favorite sets of all time list? Yeah, I think it did, because it is one of my favorite sets of all time. Definitely, it's still my favorite Lego robot of all time, I think, at this point. Um, Gold Tooth's Getaway, this is okay. I, I think I got this some random time at Toys R Us around summer 2009. Um, this one I got May 2009, which was the same day that I got the Drawbridge Defense and everything. Uh, Four-Wheeling Pursuit, got this recently. I'm telling you, I, I actually am bringing that back up when I go back up, because um, I'm going to review that. 
So we'll build that and review that. Uh, because uh, that set is just not a good set for the minifigures included. Uh, aerial defense. Uh, because oh my gosh I blanked out on this yeah I did not like this set I remember I was just trying to think I did not like this set back in the day though I, I made a vow I said I'll get all the agent sets from 2.0 and I never did <laughs> and I'm kind of glad I didn't because this is one set I do not regret not getting um I don't think I like anything about this set besides I think there's like a little volcano base that they don't even show in this picture which is where they're coming from but I might be wrong about that it's not like the actual volcano base from 2008 it's a very small little gate build uh facade type build only good thing is that and the minifigures, but even the magma drones, like that's really lame as a minifigure. Like, um, I, I don't like how they didn't put a head on there. They just put like a little antenna. Ugh, lame. River Heist. Uh, oh yeah, this was the last set. So I got Drawbridge Defense, Freeze Ray Frenzy, Robo Attack, and River Heist. Uh, love this set. I actually really like this set. The minifigures in here are so cool. Like Dynamite and Dollar Bill never came in any other sets and they look awesome. They have some awesome printing. And the boat itself is actually a really interesting type build where it's like two put together. Very solid $20 set. Uh, let's go through all these. Look, they even advertise a vintage minifigure collection. Um, number three. This one I wanted because it comes with the yellow spaceman, which back then I didn't have any legs that are just plain yellow. Got some Brickmaster. Uh, some advertisements for some like uh, little make and create builds. Nothing too interesting there. Except they have the advent calendar from that year. Uh, I did I get that? No, I don't. I don't think I got that one. I got the two thousand eight one though. We got the Lego ruler, which I think I have. I got that from my friend. He just gave it to me for free. Uh, you got the Troll Warrior Battle Pack and Dwarf Warrior Battle Pack, which I haven't seen too much coverage on those. But there you go, Drawbridge Defense, the one I've been talking about this whole time. Love this set. Uh, did it make my top 15 list? Um, yeah, I think it did. Uh, it's been a while since I saw that video. Uh, but I, I, I do love this set. Like, this is an incredible set uh, with the three, or sorry, four minifigures. I remember I was like, the queen has a new hairpiece. The jester was only in that advent calendar. The golden knight, oh my gosh, like, that was awesome. And the grim Re reaper, or actually, yeah, it's seven minifigures. That's awesome because you got the four heroes and the three skeletons. Ah, what a good set. That's just it's, it's a very solid set. And the drawbridge feature works awesomely, awesomely, perfectly is probably a better word for that. Troll's Mountain Fortress, I sort of always like this set. Um, what's interesting is that uh, they actually changed the helmet on him because at first I think it was just a plain brown, but then they changed it to a chrome brown, which is one of the weirdest colors, chrome brown, you never see that. Or it was first chrome brown and then they changed it to just a plain brown. I don't remember, but that's just kind of an interesting case of a Lego set that changed over time. That might be a, a top 10 list, we'll see. Um, like I said, it just changed over time, but they didn't even advertise change. Anyways, uh, we got this Troll Mountain Fortress. Like I said, this set was a little bit too pricey for me to get back then. I did see it on clearance a few times, and I just skipped on it, I don't know why. Like I saw it for 70 once, I think I saw it for 50. Uh, King's Battle Chariot, I wish I would've got this set. This is a pretty good set for $20, considering I don't think I have the King from Fantasy Era. So I, I kind of wish I would've got that set, because that's pretty solid. But I like how I gave Castle one more year. I thought that was a pretty nice thing for them to do. It went off with a bang because that year, earlier that year, they had the medieval market village. Uh, Pirates, of course, I've covered this before. Shipwreck hideout, I love. I did this make my top fifteen favorite sets list. I don't know. It was about to make it. Was it was on the cutting room floor. Uh, Soldiers Fort, that's a good set. My brother had that set. I took it from him. <laughs> it's, it's a good set. Um, Brickbeard's Bounty, I remember getting that. Uh, Black Friday 2008, I got it on sale at Toys R Us, um, even though it was just released, like I got like a $20 off coupon on $100. Uh, Pirate Tic Tac Toe, I, I never even heard of that set, like that's a cool set, they should, um, or I should have got that, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that would be really rare now though, because it doesn't seem like a super popular set. Loot Island is very underrated, it's weird because it has this like floor build that was never used again uh, for the island itself, but I still like it as a $20 set. Man, there's, I'm looking at this. There's a lot of strong 2009 $20 sets. Uh, Fiery Legend. Eh, that's a cool dragon. Fire Rescue. Eh, very blocky uh, fire truck. It looks like an old Technic set to me. Uh, Highway Transport. Yeah, I don't I don't know if they make a lot of these trucks in from LEGO Creator in this scale. Now they have... Uh, they, they do like cars more like this that are like $20 sets nowadays. 
family home. I wanted this set. I never got it. I don't know. I, I like the tan coloring of the house. That's. I don't think they've used tan for a different house like Lego Creator House since. And this is a pretty big one. It's almost a thousand pieces for sixty dollars, which is a pretty good deal. Um, you got some Lego racers. You got a Lamborghini right there. Uh, tiny turbos, which my cousin loves. Tiny turbos. He had most of them. Uh, some push stuff where you would you would push someone from the pump. Unlike Exalax, like they actually were much better, I think, pump builds. And also the fire, or sorry, fiery. <laughs> sorry, I was looking at fiery legend. Ferrari truck, which is minifigure scale. I got some exclusives. Uh, Taj Mahal, which is now worth so much money sealed. Medieval Market Village, which I mentioned earlier, but this is not worth that much sealed. Like, it's worth less than $200, which... For a 2009 direct-to-consumer set, it's a good deal. Like, Grand Carousel, that's worth like $2,000 now. Um, but uh, I'm sure we're getting a carousel soon. Wink, wink. Uh, Volkswagen Beetle. This is one that's worth it's surprisingly around 500 bucks now sealed. Which the new one from this year looks so much better. Oh my gosh, this looks so blocky. It's like, just the, evolve, the, the, the evolution they've made in eight years. Woo, looks so much better. Speaking of very expensive direct to consumers now, Cafe Corner worth what a thousand dollars sealed or something. Green Grocer worth a thousand dollars sealed, um, and then Market Street, the one that's not even shown here, is worth like two thousand. Uh, Emerald Knight, another one that's worth I think around five hundred to a thousand sealed. Like I said, these direct to consumer sets from two thousand nine are just so expensive now sealed. Besides, for some reason, uh, the, the Medieval Market Village, which I think is one of the stronger ones. You got some Bionicle. I think these were called Gallat. Torian? Yeah, Glatorian. Glatorian. Um, you can see Glatorian Legends. So this is the last year of Bionicle Generation 1 uh, before, or the second to last year, sorry. 2010 was Bionicle Stars. Uh, you got some right there. And, you know, I'm not really a sucker for a Bionicle, so I can't say much on it. Same goes with Technic. NXT 2.0, I remember them revealing this because I, I, I think there was a preliminary for this that I saw. I saw like all the preliminaries for 2009 sets because back then preliminaries weren't really shunned upon or sorry, shunned upon, frowned upon. So it was very easy to find those pictures and they were shared all over like the bricks and stuff. And we got Fire Brigade, which is one of the cheaper, um, I think, uh, modulars to get. I think this one's around 400 sealed. I might be wrong, which honestly, it's my least favorite of them all. Uh, my cousin has this, actually. He still owns it. And it's still built to this day. I might get it off his hands. All right, so that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, hopefully, I can do more catalog look-throughs soon enough, and I'll see you guys later.